Well, hello friends, Eric Bonet here, and uh, it has been a hot minute since I did a vloggity vlog, and you know the drill, I think about it on the regular, and I'm like, I should do one of those, it's been a while, and I should really, you know, kind of the point of a vlog is to keep it going, but I'm terrible at it, because I, you know, I prioritize other things above it, uh, for better or worse. Uh, more specifically, writing, you know, and that's what I have been all about. So in case you've been wondering whether or not I've been sticking with that, 100% have. I just write and write and write. Uh, it's still seven days a week. It's still minimum two hours a day. Um, I've, I've done some fluctuations in my schedule. I've tried getting up as early as 4 a.m., but found it was just pushing it a little bit. So I'm still waking up at 4.30 and, uh, and just doing that you know, seven days a week, and it feels really, really good. Uh, the book is coming a long, long way. I'm still working on the third draft with uh, uh, my editor, Jason, and he is just kicking ass and helping me out and teaching me so many things, and that's just going really, really well. Like, I love the progress that we're making, and I couldn't be more proud of it. Why haven't I been making vlogs, though? Well, I guess the short answer to that is just that I don't, fuck, I don't know what to talk about. It's, you know, <laughs> the the really tricky thing about your main focus in life being writing, you know, a story, or stories in general, or writing or whatever. The point being is that, you know, spoilers, spoilers are a thing, and it's like, well, this is something that I really am looking forward to sharing with people for the first time at some point, you know, hopefully relatively in the near future, at least part of it. Um, but it's like, I just, I can't talk about it. There's not really much I can talk about because everything is just kind of spoilers. I can talk about vague abstract things, but it's, you know, when you have no context, when I haven't put any real context out there yet, it's just kind of, it feels like a waste of time. So, you know, that's really the excuse as to why I haven't been making vlogs. It's just, I've made several and they just haven't been good. I just rewatched them the next day and I was just like, oh, this is stupid. This is just boring filler content. Like I don't, I'm not talking about anything substantial here. I'm just dicking around. Um, which to be fair is kind of what I'm doing in this video. Uh, it, it, I guess the main point is just to explain why I haven't been vlogging the topic that I'm on right now, which is just that you know, I'm just doing the same stuff. I'm still just writing, you know, work, work is going really well. You know, I'm, I'm doing good as an electrician. My joints are doing pretty good, all things considered, like they're not healed, but you know, and I'm still in my thirties. So, you know, it just kind of is what it is, but, uh, you know, all around LG baby life's good. You know, I'm, I just continuously working on myself and, and trying to do better. You know, I'm back into running every single day. So I'm doing like five miles a day, you know, just I'm on a good kick and the writing kick has been good for almost two years consistently now and the progress is really coming along. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking about some concepts, uh, you know, this, this might actually be worth bringing up in the video. Um, rather than publishing or trying to publish, you know, The Warlock's Curse as it was originally created in my mind, this fairly large narrative arc, sort of in the Harry Potter-ish format, which is, you know, uh, sort of a foundational place that I started way back at the beginning. Um, the idea being that it would be like one year of timeline within the book. But then, you know, I wrote the book and it turned out to be 200,000 words after the second draft. And I'm like, this is, this is a long book. This is a big book. You know, the Sorcerer's Stone was like 75,000 words or something like that. So, and you know, this is the first one. So, you know, that's, it's not a bad thing, uh, but it, it it's not necessarily what I want to go to a publisher with and be like, hey, do you want to publish this 250,000 word novel? It's my first time, you know, <laughs> it's like, you know, um, so I'm thinking, uh, considering the option of just kind of taking book one and splitting it into three different parts. And I already had it kind of the narrative was already structured in that way, kind of. I had it broken into seven parts, but those parts, you can kind of clump them together, one through three, four and five, six and seven. And I'm just thinking, you know, that might be a better way to do it. And then moving forward, rather than it being a seven part series, like originally planned, it might be a 21 part series with each book coming out far more often um, and being significantly smaller rather than seven very large novels. So uh, I was thinking about that, and then just a minute ago, I was laying down, just big chilling, and thinking about, you know, alternatives uh, on the 
chance, the plausible chance, because I don't really know much about the publishing industry, but on the off chance that the publishing industry was just like, Haha, no, you're, you're way too, bleh, you know, can't, you know, we're not touching you or, you know, for whatever, whatever reason, let's just say I could not get published traditionally. Um, and I had to go down the self-publishing route. Uh, you know, it's like, yeah, the, you know, Amazon is a big part of that helping authors self-publish. But I was like, you know, what if I just took it in a kind of different direction? Like maybe I'd still use Amazon uh, for elements of it, but maybe I would like publish on a website and do just like episodic uploads where it's like I would write one chapter at a time and just kind of throw out the whole novel format. And I'm not saying I'm doing that. I just think it's kind of an interesting idea that just hit me. And then I was thinking it through and then I wanted, I didn't want to type. So I'm trying this new thing where I record thoughts digitally rather than having to type everything out all the time. Cause as it turns out, there's a lot of thoughts that go through my head on a daily basis. And sometimes it's nice to just be able to go and get it all out. And then I was holding my phone and I was like, man, I'm already holding my phone. Why don't I just do a vlog? So anyways, that's basically caught you up to the present. Um, are there any other interesting things uh, going on in my life right now? Uh, I just went and saw the new Indiana Jones film with my brothers and my dad, and it was good. I quite enjoyed it. Um, you know, I don't think it's quite as good as the originals, but it was enjoyable. Um, I liked it. I want a cat. I want to get a cat. I've always been a dog person. And... But ever since I started writing, and I don't know if I've talked about this with you guys before, it's not ringing any bells, so I don't think I have. But ever since I started writing, I've wanted to get a cat instead, which is weird, because I've always wanted to have like multiple dogs. Um, they're just loud and noisy and expensive and you need space for them, which is why I've never gotten around to it. Um, but yeah, now that I've kind of gotten to a point in my life where like I could have a dog right now, I could afford one and I have a place that is totally dog accessible, but I'm like, uh, they're so loud and noisy. Like, I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. I don't love dogs any less than I ever have. But I'm like, do I want to, like, live with a dog? No, I don't. Cats are way more self-sufficient and self-reliant and all of that sort of stuff, as we all know. And I'm like, man, I think I want a cat. And I want to get a Norwegian forest cat. And I know it's better to go to the pound and, like, get a, a you know, cat that doesn't have a home and stuff. But it's like, man, I want a really cute fluffy cat. Like, if you're not familiar with Norwegian fluffy uh, fluffy cats, Norwegian forest cats, they look like this. They're very cute. And I, I'm like, I want that cat. <laughs> like, that's so damn cute. Oh, I'd hang out with that cat all day. But then I think about it, and I'm like, man, I still work, like, full time. I'm not going to be at home with the cat a lot of the time. Like, so does it need to be like an indoor outdoor cat? Like, is that even safe in my neighborhood? And then I'm like, well, maybe I should just get two cats and have them be indoor cats and they can help entertain each other. And then I'm like, Norwegian forest cats are expensive. Um, <laughs> and I'm doing okay, but I'm not doing like, you know, there's no diamonds in these ears, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> But yeah, just like on that topic of changing from dog person to cat person, even though I haven't really changed, I love I love all animals, right? But like that just being sort of my natural preference for a companion, like is very strange because I've always been a dog person. I've always sort of identified as, as a dog person. And then it's like, well, am I a cat person now? How strange. Um, and I've noticed since I started writing, and I, I, I might have touched on this in a, in a vlog like two years ago, but whatever, I can repeat myself. Um, it's like everything about me has changed. And I noticed this happened when I, started writing because I remember I wanted to like, you know, I just had this connection with writing and I was like, oh shit, like you're the thing. You're my thing. This is what I want to do. Like you actually suit me, <laughs> you know, like it just felt like meeting the one. And so I like really tried to adopt it in my life. And I noticed all these sort of fundamental things about myself just started like changing, like ways that I like identify as being, you know, I just started like just changing and it, it's it's been very strange and like two years into that experience now not quite two years it'll be two years in October um since I started writing but it's I, I've just I've changed so much and it just makes me wonder and and I continue to change and I continue to grow and mature and I feel like just continue to do generally better in life not to say that everything I do just keeps getting better like I'm still human you know I still error all the time but 
I do feel like I'm, you know, over time getting better, you know, like a, like a good stock chart. And that's really exciting. It's like, yo, where am I going to be in five years? Like, am I legit going to be like a published author in five years and like doing this full time? Cause like, you know, <laughs> again, it, it, it makes more sense to me being me because I get to watch the manuscript and the lore and all the writing that I'm doing slowly evolve over time. But I, none of it's public yet. So it all just kind of sounds the same from your end, or maybe I just assumed that it does, but just seeing how far the book has come and how like I'm on this draft that I'm genuinely going to print out and, you know, start to share with people relatively soon, you know, the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel is like coming. It's, it's getting very close, you know, probably well before the end of the year. Um, maybe a bit longer. It, it depends a little bit on Jason's schedule and, uh, my ability to keep feeding him work and then his ability to get back to that work with me. And, you know, it's, uh, but I'm not in a rush because I've been working so much on the lore. Oh man, that, there's another thing I can talk about. I've been working on the lore. Like I can't really tell you what I've been writing, but I can talk about it. And man, the lore is so cool. Like, oh, I love world building and I love creating lore. Like I've always enjoyed watching lore videos. Like I started as a freaking Soulsborne gamer. You know, of course I love lore. Like I watch Vati videos uploads. Like as soon as there's a new Vati video, I'm like, boop, play. Like, let's freaking learn some lore, boys. Let's learn about this complex, intricate little world that this guy built. Not necessarily little. That, uh, yeah, but <laughs> I love building my own. It's so Fun. Like I can see my eyes getting all white and crazy because that's how fun building lore is. It, God, it's so exciting. Like I'm thinking about like how to reconcile deities with like concepts of physics and like, uh, oh man, like, and I, I could go on and on and, and throw more big words out there if I took the time to like plan a sentence out. But the point being, it's just fun. I get to think about the coolest shit and come up with like uh, creative solutions to like complex, complex abstract problems. And it's so fun. And like, even recently within the lore, uh, I, I had to like mess with time, like the concept of time, the histories of reality and stuff. And I'm not going to lie. The results that I came up with, I'm a very proud of. And I asked chat GPT about the problem and was like, hey, this is the solution that I came up to with to this problem with time. And ChatGBT, you know, was like, hey, man, good job. I see what you did here, 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 and here. And I like all that stuff. And I was like, thank you, ChatGBT. I appreciate that. I feel like you just gave me like an A. And that's really cool. So, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and on editing, on learning um, about grammar, English grammar, like, mm, and you know, coming to the end of the video on like a really spicy topic, you know, we're talking like grammar skills. Very strange to see myself turn into a grammar Nazi, by the way. And I'm not really like a grammar Nazi. I'm not like going around correcting people. But like when I'm just living in life, I'm like, oh, that should have been a semicolon. And I'm like, I'm the last person I ever would have expected to start to think in that kind of way, to see things written and be like, that's wrong because you did the punctuation wrong and I know how you should have done it and why. Like, uh, that's me now, you know, I'm a nerd. Like, well, I've always been a nerd, but like I'm a new kind of nerd and that's exciting. And you know, when I was first showing chapters to Jason, like there was probably average of like 20 plus highlights on every single page that I showed him like 20 plus like if you know I haven't gone to grammar school but I'm guessing if I showed those pages to like a grammar teacher and they gave me like an actual letter grade they would have been like a d or an f um you know it that's not to say that everything about the page was bad but like my grammar skills were bad and now it's like I think we're averaging like maybe one or two highlights a page and very often it's just Jason highlighting things to just bring to my attention, just interesting things, things to help, you know, teach me and, and interesting concepts. You know, it's not like, hey, you did this wrong. It's just like, hey, let's let's look about at this and talk about this for a minute because, you know, we're learning. And that's so exciting. It's like I kind of feel like I'm getting A's on my homework and and I'm reading my work and I love it. And it's so exciting and engaging. And like I'm closing in on a point where I'm going to do a printout once I finish, I think, chapter twenty one or 22 once we get to the end of the third part 
official part of the book, you know, I'm going to print out parts one through three. Well, I have to do some significant revision in the prologue because of all the world building that I did recently. And I spent m literal months world building, which I had never done before. Um, so the world building and the lore is all just popping. Everything's popping. I am feeling good, man. Like life ain't perfect. Life is still hard. And that's okay because, you know, at the things that I'm focusing on, I'm kicking ass and I'm very proud to be kicking ass. And this, I feel like, has actually turned into a pretty good vlog video. So I'm just happy to be able to reconnect with whoever was interested in watching this video. Um, I know there's a handful of you guys out there who still, you know, stay in touch with me on occasion and ask how I'm doing and all that. And just know that I love your faces. Um, I, I hate feeling like I'm ignoring you. Uh, I just wish, you know, it's like you got to have something interesting to say in vlogs, you know, that's that's kind of part of the problem. Um, and you also got to take the time to do them and edit them and upload them and all of that. But I will be back as always. I am not I'm not done writing and I am not done with YouTube, um, but it may not be until after I have something that's finally printed out and I'm sharing with people. So if it's sooner than then, then I'll see you guys soon. And if it's later than then, then I love your faces and a beard heart? Sure. <laughs> Bye guys.